Well, so here is today's delicious lunch. Beautiful pork rib stew. Let's get these ribs. Yay. Gorgeous. What do you think? Want to make these? Beautiful. So let's start cooking. Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking stewed pork ribs. So let's begin. Okay. So let's start off by turning the stove up. I'm going to turn it up to high and I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll add the ribs. The ribs, this was a rack of ribs about 900 grams and I've cut them up into pieces. So we'll wait for that to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is hot, I'm going to add the ribs in. I should be able to get them all in here because the pot is quite large. If you can't, um, just um, do them in two lots. Yeah, that's okay. So basically, I'm just going to brown them all over. Okay, so once the ribs are browned all round, what I'm going to do, I'll turn the heat down to medium high, number 7, and I'll just take the ribs out onto this plate and leave them to one side for a little while. I can't believe it, they didn't stick today. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. So I leave them to one side, and in this, is in, <laughs> in this same pan, I'm just going to add a bit more oil, olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, and I'm going to chuck in about half an onion, and about three or four garlic cloves, which I've sliced up. And I'll just um, brown it all up. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my saffron ready. This is a bit fiddly to open. The last time I did this, it went everywhere all over the floor. So, here's my saffron. And I'm going to get a little... That was from the garlic. That'll do. And just add a few... Threads. I think they're called threads. To it. And I'm going to add a bit of white wine. By the way, this is drinkable too. And I'll just stir that about. And I'll leave it there for when I need it later on. Right, so the onion and garlic is ready, so the next step, I'm going to add the carrots. And I'll add one teaspoon of paprika, nice generous teaspoon, sprinkle that all over. Um, I'm going to add salt and 
also a bay leaf. Smells gorgeous. And I'm going to chuck back in the ribs and any juice that's on the plate. And next I'll add the glass of white wine. A nice generous glass of white wine. And let's give this a stir. And I'm going to cover it up and just leave it there on medium high for five minutes until the alcohol evaporates. Right, so about five minutes have gone by and the alcohol has evaporated. So the next step, what I'll do is add in about 200 ml of water and I'm just going to cover it back up again and leave it there for 15 minutes okay so after 15 minutes oh my god this is smelling amazing mmm Right, where was I? After 15 minutes, I'm going to add my potatoes in. Um, it's about two large potatoes, quite large potatoes, cut in, into chunks. So I'll just chuck them in there. And what I'm going to do is add about, I'll let you know in a minute, about 300 ml of water and I move it all about as best as I can and also I'm going to add the saffron in wine um, basically I mentioned in the title of this video that this is my grandmother's recipe well that is a hundred percent true the only thing that is different is the saffron she would add it straight into there instead of mixing it with wine a lot of people in Spain what they do is put it on here the same as I have done instead of wine they add water to it mashing it up before adding the water and they chuck it in the microwave for about 60 to 90 seconds and then chuck it in but I'm doing it the way that one of my loyal subscribers um, said that he does it this way in wine so thank you Mr. JP E salut. So let's chuck this in. And it's still on medium high. I could whack it right up so it brings to the boil quicker, but it's easier if I just cover it all up, leave it still on number seven, medium high and I'm going to let it cook there for 20 minutes so I'll be back okay so time's up it's a lot of steam here isn't it and this should be ready let's just um, have a quick test probably can't see it with all the steam potatoes beautiful Carrots, beautiful. The pork ribs. 
amazing. So the final step is to add the peas. Normally, when I was showed this recipe, there would be fresh garden peas. But I'm using these frozen peas which are already cooked. So I'll just stir them in. And I'll leave that there for five minutes. And then we'll serve it up. Well, so here is the result of today's delicious lunch. I'm really going to put my boots on today. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.